Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well. So this morning, I'm heading over to Farm 2 in the John Deere as I'm going to make a start cultivating. So yeah, as you can see, I'm using an old chisel plow today. Um, these aren't really used much anymore. They were quite popular in the 1970s. Dad used to run quite a few of them, and my granddad was a big fan as well. But um, they sort of had their peak of popularity, and that sort of fizzled off, and everybody sort of went back to, to mold board plowing. But no, we get on really well with the chisel plow. Um, we're, we're, we're big fans of it. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, what am I doing? because um, I know a lot of people don't don't really like the chisel plows anymore but we get on really well with them they're easy to be with they're cheap to run easy to maintain um, and where I am now over at farm two like I said in the video where I was molding the other day um, we're sort of giving everything a bit of a birthday here a bit of a reset um, as we've had a bit of drainage work done and it's not quite suitable for direct drilling which is what we're going to be doing with the rest of the land um, over at home uh, so yeah, we've uh, made the decision to cultivate here. Um, so I've gone old school, I'm using <laughs> old school chisel plow on a modern tractor. This is actually a Massey Ferguson chisel plow based on the old Bomford Superflow chisel plows. What I will need to do is I will need to work this down soon um, so it doesn't dry out. So instead of going you know, straight to the next field with the chisel plow, I'll have to switch over. And I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the subsoiler um, through it mainly because the subsoil has got a great big packer on the back to help work it down. Um, obviously dragging the subsoil and legs through the ground is gonna, gonna do a bit of good as well. But the main reason I'll be using the subsoil is the packer. Um, and I won't be subsoiling you know, full depth uh, because it has been mold, uh, but it just gives it that extra sort of bit of work. I'll be crossing where I'm chisel plowing and I'll be packing it down at the same time as well. I think one of the reasons people don't really like the chisel plow is, well they argue that it doesn't find enough soil uh, because of the staggered legs. Well we've actually got more points on here than, um, you know, than, than there would be normally. We've actually got 13 points on um, this chisel plow. Um, and I think a chisel plow of this size normally has about eight on there. So we've got more points than normal. So it's definitely finding enough soil. Uh, I think what people used to do is cross, cross their work. So me coming in with the subsoiler afterwards, crossing my work is uh, definitely going to be a big help. Um, and like I said, it's got a big pack on the back to help work it down as well. But no, it's doing an absolutely fantastic job. It's nice to be, uh, nice to be out working in the fields again.
So yeah, the chisel plow's going in sort of about six to nine inches deep, so not quite a foot. And when I go through with the subsoiler, that'll go a bit deeper still, but not quite as deep as the mole, the mole plow. Um, you know, the mole plowing I did, uh, what you saw in my last video. But I do think this is my favorite job, to be honest. I do love chisel plowing. Um, I just love working the ground. It's a bit, a bit of a strange setup having an old school bit of kit like the chisel plow on the John Deere. You know, got a right mix of old and new there, but it's a nice little setup. It's, uh, like I said, really nice, simple bit of kit. So these are the feet here, the, uh, well, the points rather. So the legs come down, you've got these points on here. Two bolts hold these in, so they're dead easy to change. Uh, you've got the shear bolts here on each leg. Again, dead easy to change. Um, when they shear, I've got a box of spares in the, uh, in the cab. I'm surprised I haven't had, had one shear yet because um, it's pretty tough ground in this field. Um, so <laughs> now I've said that, I bet I'll have loads. I'll definitely have some when I uh, get to the headlands at the end. Uh, it's always tougher on the headlands where there's been compaction. But uh, yeah, dead easy to uh, change the shear bolts, change the points, so maintaining it is, is really easy. Uh, the main thing with setting it up, I suppose, would be the fact that you want to make sure the frame of the chisel plough is level with the ground. Um, that way you know the back row and the front row of points are both going in at the same depth. Um, so yeah, nice and simple, bog standard bit of kit. Um, I do have to set an upper limit on the link arms um, so when I pull out at the end of each run it doesn't go too high up else the points do have a tendency to catch the tyres a little bit and that, that, could, that could end nasty so yeah got to have uh, sort of set, setting up a limit there but yeah it uh, seems to be doing a fair job It's doing a good job, it's it's a tough old field this one. I'm quite surprised I haven't broken any shear bolts yet. Um, I'm having to keep my forward speed down quite a bit because like I said it is really tough. But yeah, it is doing a fair job. Another hour or so and I'll be on the headlands and then that'll be the first field finished. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. Before I do go, I do just want to say a big thanks to everybody who sent in questions for the Q&A me and Dad did the other day. Uh, so many questions came in, we didn't have time to answer them all, so I'm really sorry if your question didn't get answered. Um, for those who haven't seen it yet, I'll put a little link here so you can go and check that video out. But don't worry, um, I'm sure there'll be a, another opportunity in the near future to answer some more questions. So yeah, big, big thanks to everybody who sent, sent some questions in, uh, we had quite good fun going through and answering answering those together me and dad so yeah thanks for watching everybody if you want to see more videos then be sure to hit subscribe uh tap the little bell as well because that notifies you when i put a new video up so yeah stay safe stay well and we'll see you next time cheers